Well, the question is simple. Will they or will they not play? Both the NBA and the NFL are mired in very confusing and very, very lengthy work stoppages here in 2011, and both both leagues are actually very unsure on whether or not they're actually going to have a season upcoming in 2011-2012. There's a lot of points to be had in both both leagues, both leagues lockouts. Uh, let's start off for, first with the NFL. The NFL is a little bit more easier to comprehend. It, it might be a little bit more, I guess, one-sided for one group than rather than the NBA, which is confusing all around. But let's start off with the NFL first. With the NFL, this lockout is essentially about the players wanting more respect from the owners in terms of better revenue sharing and the fact that the, that the owners are taking away a lot of the health care options the players have both during their careers and in retirement, the post-football careers that players have. That's their big issues right now. Uh, starting off with the revenue sharing, with the NFL, uh, the, the players and the owners at this point, according to NFLLockout.com, the owners and the players as, as of 2009, they shared almost roughly half of all revenue made, and this is a, this is including TV contracts. This is including merchandise sales, um, ticket revenue, of course, and stadium revenue that comes in on a yearly basis. Uh, back in 2009, and this kind of kind of goes back to 2010 and 11, under the former collective bargaining agreements, both sides, the players and the players' union and the league itself, they both were 50-50 give or take. So it wasn't a big big deal. They were sharing down the middle. What the league and the players have, though, what they want are very different. The, the league wants to make more money, essentially. They feel that the owners are entitled to have more money due to the fact that the players are wanting bigger contracts. Whereas the players feel like they want more money because they want more money for health care and for player safety in general. And they feel that the, league, the league's owners are or they should say the league's owners are making too much money and they're not sharing it evenly with the players union itself. Hence why at this point the players union are back in March I should say they, they disbanded and why thus far they haven't reassessed themselves and they have not taken away the antitrust lawsuit of which they put against the NFL back in March. So that's the big problem for the NFL. How to get these two sides together in the revenue and really it's a difficult difficult bargaining agreement it's difficult to come to a compromise when you have two groups who essentially want more money and yet they don't want to meet together in the middle neither side wants to meet in the middle they all want more money for themselves and there's not a real easy solution for that the owners they want players to take a pay cut to a certain extent the players want the owners to understand that you know, they make a lot of money, especially owners like the Jerry Jones, like the Al Davises, like the Robert Krafts of the league. They want those guys to understand that, hey, you know what, you make a lot of money. You don't have to be doing this for you know whatever benefit that they may have. That's one thing. Another thing for the NFL and the players is health care. And this is big because because for those who play football in their careers or in their lives in general, you know how difficult football is. It is a, it's a difficult game. It's not for the weak. It's not for the timid. It's a very rough game, and players get hurt all the time. The problem is right now in the NFL – Player health care coverage is not very good. Players have to pay out of their own pocket for their health care with the league. And, and according to NFL.com, for players when they to get NFL insurance, they have to play a certain amount of time in the league. And for, for players who want post post career health coverage, players have to have at least two years experience in the NFL in the NFL to get any health care at all post career and what the problem is right now is that a lot of players are experiencing there a lot of players are getting hurt more and more often the game's got the game has gotten a lot faster it's gotten a lot more a lot more brutal and you're seeing more players former players who have had dementia former players who have 
worse knee injuries, worse injuries, and th that's just a big problem right now. The the players union wants a better health care system, and the NFL does not want to increase their health care system by any means. The the the, the uh, the main league feels that it's working. Uh, it's going to work for them. It's in their advantage. Whereas the players, that's not the case. The players, they feel that they're not getting the right deal. And so that's really what, what that's the second and probably one of the bigger problems with the NFL lockout. The players are not getting a good enough deal when it comes to their to their healthcare coverage. And I, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree with the NFL because uh, the, the players, I should say, because for again, for those who have played football or especially football in their lives. It's a difficult, difficult sport, You're, especially in the NFL. In the NFL, the season essentially starts in June with OTA or, or organized team activities, in which the team gets together and they have, they have they hold non-contact drills and essentially strength and conditioning type of workout drills. In June, after that, of course, is training camp in July. That runs all the way through the start of August. At August, at least right now, the NFL has the preseason that runs at least four games. That's at least four more weeks before. Before they even the start, they before they even start the regular season, which of course is at 16 games right now. But the league wants to increase it to 18 games. That's a lot of football to be played. That's a long time going all the way from essentially May and June all the way to January, only getting about maybe three or four months off in the year after playing a very rough and physical sport. That's that's very tough on the human body. And for the players, they they uh, if I were a player in the NFL, I would. Have agree with them wholeheartedly. It's not very fair that the NFL is holding out on them and not allowing them to get better health care coverage for them. And I think the biggest misconception, and, and I, I think this is kind of a big, big issue with the players union right now, the problem is though is that with the NFL, People look at the NFL player and they see the Tom Brady's and the Ocho Cinco's who have that millions and millions of dollars over a certain amount of years. But for the, most, for the regular player, they only make three hundred thousand dollars a year, and under the NFL's healthcare coverage, that can run anywhere from one thousand dollars all the way up to. Uh, quite a few numerous amounts of dollars. I mean, we're thinking about the tens of thousands of dollars in healthcare coverage. And of course, for insurance companies out there, especially if players want to get their own private health insurance, for companies, they don't want to insure players players that much for a, for a small nominal fee because they know that if a player gets hurt, they're going to have to pay, play. They're going to have to pay that player a lot of money just to help them out with whatever injury they have. Companies are very very hesitant to ensure a big name athlete in the NFL. So that's the problem with the NFL. That's why they're locked out. Because of one, monetary issues, and secondly, because of the health care issues.